Welcome to another Crafting with Roswell. Today we'll be making a photo magnet. In your kit, you will find a mini wood slice. You will find two small magnets taped to the inside of your sandwich bag. You will find a paintbrush and then two paint pots. One that is unmarked will have your photo transfer Mod Podge, and the one marked with an S contains a sparkle Mod Podge to use as a sealant on your finished project. The other items you will need, a hot glue gun or super glue would work to attach the magnets to the back of your wood slice, a pen or pencil potentially for tracing your photo before adding it to your wood slice, you will also need a photo printed on copier paper, so not on photo paper, it needs to be on copier regular paper. And you need to use a laser jet printer. An inkjet printer will not work with the photo transfer Mod Podge. It needs to be a laser jet with that dry toner. And your picture can either be black and white or in color. And the library does have uh, black and white and color laser jet printers for use for the public in our building. And then I recommend a ruler to help you with sizing, but if you use a computer program like I did, the rulers built in help me size down my photo to meet the needs of my particular wood slice. All of these are slightly variations in size, slightly vary in size. Let me start over there. And so there was no rule of thumb I could give you in terms of what size your picture should be. So I highly recommend just doing a measurement up, down, side to side of your wood slice to get an idea. You'll need scissors for when you go to cut apart from your main page your picture or for trimming your picture around your wood slice. You will also need a sponge or a paper towel. Really recommend a sponge that you can get wet for the step two of this project. And with that, you would need water. So let's get started with step one of this project. So first off is really choosing your picture, resizing it to fit on your particular wood slice. And you can then kind of trace the image and then cut it around. And so this is gonna go face down on your wood slice. So even though I'm covering it this way, essentially when we put this together, we're gonna to see the white backing and the photo side is gonna be down on our wood slice. So the other option is to put the photo Mod Podge right on your picture and then place your wood slice over it, kind of ensuring that you're not getting any of the white um, border that you might have for your photo, making sure your main object of your photo is covered by the wood slice, and then that will be what ends up on my magnet. With my particular project, it doesn't really matter, um, but I did mirror my picture. So originally in this picture, Killian's on the left and Shelby's on the right. Since I've mirrored it, Shelby's now on the left and Killian's on the right. Um, that won't matter. The big thing is if you're picture has any words in it, your words will appear backwards if you don't mirror your image. And for help with this, you can always pop into the library and I could give you a quick publisher tutorial. They'd also be able to help you with the reference desk upstairs. And so mirroring is a more important piece of this if there's important wording you do not want backwards in your finished project. So step one is super simple. Once you've got your photo size, you've got your wood slice, you're gonna go ahead and open your little pot. And it looks like a tiny amount, but I promise you this is plenty. I'm gonna go ahead, dip my paintbrush in, and add this photo Mod Podge over my image. So I'm just painting it thickly on the image itself. You want a nice thick layer covering your photo. So basically have it thick enough that your picture is going to be hiding underneath this transfer medium before we add our wood slice. So whatever this, 
amazing little cream is doing is essentially loosening the toner ink from our paper to have it dissolve into our wood slice. So with step two tomorrow, when we soak off the back of the copier paper, all that's left on our wood slice is our photo. So this is a nice layer of white. I've now covered over my picture of my puppies completely. And to help give myself a reference, I actually printed this twice. So I have a slightly um, less finished picture up here, but that's going to work too for me to remember about where I need to place my wood slice in order to make sure that both puppies end up on it. So I know I'm reaching for about that corner. I know I need to put a little more of the transfer Mod Podge over on this side because this part of the picture is going to end up on my slice as well. So you can see that little bit of Mod Podge is enough to cover this two inch plus photo. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my wood slice and position it on my photo. Then I'm going to gently lift it up and turn it over and just give it a press down with my thumb you could use a credit card or a plastic squeegee, but I'm just doing a quick press down to make sure that my photo is adhered to my wood slice and that there's no major air bubbles or ripples. We want a nice smooth surface. And so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on my wood slice overnight before I go to step two. So it's been more than 24 hours, ready to go ahead with step two of the photo magnet process. So this is completely dried. And what I'm gonna do really quick before I get started is just trim away my paper as close to the wood slice as I can. Just gently cutting it away. So now it more closely matches my wood slice shape. So next up, I have my sponge and some warm water. Just gonna wet the sponge and then shake out a lot of the extra water. It doesn't need to be sopping wet and dripping, but it's nice and wet. And then just push the sponge onto the copier paper to wet it. And you can already see my image through the copier paper on my wood slice. And I'm just gonna take my sponge and gently rub in circles, essentially removing the copier paper from the project. She's just gonna wanna gently rub in circles. You're gonna make a little mess You can move the wood slice around. Just gently rub away that white paper. And you don't want to spend too much time in one section and you can rinse off your sponge to help get rid of some of those paper pieces. Because you can rub too much and remove part of your image if you're concentrating in one spot too long. So try to keep this as even as possible, rubbing away the paper backing of our photo.
And you can just use your fingers. Rub away anything that might feel loose on the surface of your wood slice. You'll feel the little pebbles of the paper and you'll see them on your fingers. Just kind of rub those away. Next up, I'm just going to use a paper towel to just help you show the effect. So there is my photo completely on the wood slice. Next up is allowing this to dry. using my brush and the Sparkle Mod Podge to then apply a sealant over my picture, letting that dry for a few hours. And then with that being dried and the back being dried, using a super glue or a hot glue to attach your two tiny magnets to the very back. And these are powerful magnets. I gave you two, uh, nothing worse than having a magnet slide down your refrigerator. So once this is dry, we can finish the next steps.